Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boot Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, it is the last day of 2021, a year that has actually been very good for the Dallas Cowboys, um, so to speak, and let's hope we can continue it to roll into 2022. You know the thing that's funny to me, oh, and make sure, don't forget, and literally, Two hours and 10 minutes from now, we'll be starting our live stream to end this year. That's right. We're going to end the year with a three-hour-plus live stream with you Zoom calling in uh, channel members-wise. So we'll see what you guys think. We'll have a great time. We'll have a few drinks. We'll laugh. We'll, we'll cry. We'll do everything. Speaking of laughing and crying, you know, it's amazing how everybody in the Cowboys suck. Dak Prescott, overpaid, dink and dunk, garbage time quarterback. Zeke Elliott, washed up, he's a bum. Amari Cooper checks out, you know, on the road. He is, you know, not that good. Michael Gallup drops the ball a lot. CeeDee Lamb, overrated, overrated. You know, uh, the Eagles, no, we really didn't want CeeDee Lamb. We are happy we got Rhaegar. Micah Parsons, no, you know, he's okay, but he's not great. And now Diggs. Now, I want you to keep thinking about something right now. With all of these people that so much suck, as they say, it's amazing that they have the second-best record in football with all this suckage together. You know, I guess they figure with all the suckage together, they're going to be great, kind of like Kmart and Sears. When they combined each other, of course, two losing franchises, of course, they made a great Franchise, didn't it? Oh, they're both out of business now, aren't they? Okay. So now, John Owing. I, I don't know who John Owing is from Pro Football Focus, but he goes on and he basically trashes Diggs. Diggs, who has the most interceptions since Everson Walls, who should be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, of 11 and still has two games left. Diggs, who people know, he's an interception machine, yet they still throw at him. So John Owens from Pro Football Focus, you know, Skip, Skip, you know the boys from Pro Football Focus, they watch a lot of football, Skip. And they say that Diggs' 11 interceptions aren't indicative to him actually being a good cornerback. Let me read some of the stuff that John Owings said. I think he's one of the best cornerbacks, but he also hasn't been as good as his 11 interceptions indicate. As many have said, I think he's more Marcus Peters than Jalen Ramsey, which is still great, especially with Dallas's pass rush. The fuck? So wait a minute. You're doing something somebody has not been able to do in over 30 years, and you're basically saying, it's all right. You make it sound like getting interceptions, everybody gets interceptions, or that interceptions aren't game changers, takeaways. The biggest statistic in football is winning the turnover battle. That can make the difference between winning and losing. And that somehow he's just lucked into getting, in not even two seasons, 15 takeaways. 15 takeaways. I was actually pointing out to you guys um, yesterday, or maybe, yeah, maybe yesterday or the day before, that the Dallas Cowboys as a team haven't had 11 interceptions since 2014. He's had it in 14 games. That's in... Incredible. Richard Sherman, one of the guys we looked at and said, man, he's great. He had eight twice. And so I'm just going to try and humor this a little bit here because I, I want you guys up here. This is John, John Owing. Like I said, I don't know who John Owing is, and I'm going through here. Big fan of Diggs. Uh, wait, let's see. There's a couple more. I thought there was a couple more because this is actually on his site. I think he's one of the best young cornerbacks, but he also has uh, has not been as good as his 11 interceptions. 
uh, as as many have said, I think he's more. more okay, I, I read that one. I just want to set my record straight on my personal opinion of Trayvon Diggs. He's a very good cornerback who has elite ball skills and contest um, ability, but whose aggressiveness and tenacity to freelance can be used against him. He's physical in coverage, but doesn't carry over on the run. So I was thinking about this, and I pulled up Jalen Ramsey's stats. Now, now here's what's interesting with Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey, who's been in the league since 2016, this year he has 71 tackles combined, 57 solos, which is good. He's got eight tackles for loss, which is good. But you know how many interceptions he has? He's got three on the year. You know how many interceptions he has in his career? 14. In his whole career. Diggs has more interceptions in not even two seasons. And quarterbacks know, don't throw against him, but yet he still seems to find the ball. Now, I'll give you, because Diggs has about 50 tackles. He's about 20 tackles less. And I will give you that Ramsey actually has an acting degree because he truly got away with pass interference, where they called it on the Cowboys, of course, because you know how it is. They called on the Cowboys, even though he's holding Michael Gallup. But to say that he's more on the level of Marcus Peters, Marcus Peters, who's been in the league since 2015, at least he's got 31 interceptions. And tackles-wise, he's got 52 this year, which is exactly the same as what Michael uh, with uh, what Diggs has. But Peters, I'm sorry, last year. But Peters didn't have a single interception. I'm sorry, had four interceptions. And has never had more than eight. Now, I'm not ready to say that Diggs is, you know, uh, the, the Daryl Revis of football yet where he's a lockdown, shutdown corner. Although I think what's going to happen is as he keeps picking the ball off the way he is, they're going to start going away from him and thus basically say, whatever the side of the field that he's on, we shouldn't go there because he will get the ball. But he's only a second-year player. And to kind of basically say that interceptions are kind of like, meh, it's no big deal, it's kind of short-sighted. But then this is the way it always goes because you'll remember – Last year when Dak Prescott was on a historic pace to obliterate the single-season passing record, of course they say, oh, well, that's just garbage time yards. They don't count. But I'm sitting here looking at other quarterbacks on trashy teams, and they don't talk about those being garbage time. I was sitting here thinking about when they said, oh, well, yeah, he, he's got a lot of completions and stuff, but they're dinking and dunking. I never hear that kind of thing used on any other any other quarterback before. And it just seems to be that no matter what we do or what they do, I should say, I'm not doing anything. They will say that the Cowboys, well, they're not really that good. But somehow this team of guys that are really not that good are really good together. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to go up here, finish cooking dinner. As you can see, I'm cooking some shrimp and I got some flour and stuff on me. Things, but I'm gonna get that done and get ready for our live stream. And I hope you guys will join us. And remember, I do back here. And so, before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. 